Hi, I'm Dhruv. And I'm Yoli. And we love traveling. In this brand new series for DW Travel, we'll be exploring Germany's most famous sites. So where are we today and where are we heading off to? I think you can look at the cars and see that we are in Germany now. And the city we are going to is very special because it has four letters in its name. Letters? You mean words? Oh, sorry. <laughs> words. <laughs> Rotenburg, Obdeer, Tauber. Correct, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And there you can see that they got sick of spelling the whole name out, so they just shortened it to Rotenburg or oh, Deity. Yep. You can Look see. This. this is so old style. Where are you? Hmm. Oh, there you are. <laughs> right in the middle of my heart. <laughs> Let's go and see the city. The town? The town? Yeah, yeah. same thing. In the next two days, we plan to explore the best attractions of this medieval German town. Thankfully, we got some help from the tourist department of the town. This reminds me of Game of Thrones. <laughs> You can get one of the best views of the whole town while sitting on these castle walls. <laughs> it crashed. So this is the city of Rotenburg. It's a very nice three-dimensional map of the city here. We are standing exactly here besides the church. And as you can see, the whole city is surrounded by castle walls, which are existing to this very day. And it's almost covering every part of the city except this part, which has natural barriers. Because the Tauber River flows from here. And that's why the city is called Rotenburg of der Tauber. It's literally Rotenburg, the city above the Tauber River. And this city basically expanded from here. The old part of the city is here. The old castle walls were here. Then the second phase of expansion was all over here. And the third phase of expansion a few hundred years later was this portion, which was the hospital of the city. There's a reason why this Rotenburg city is a very special place for tourists. This building is the town hall. It's called Rathaus. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Normally you can just go up, but because of Corona, again, it's a special situation. He's okay. Mm -hmm. Specifically ask for it. Yeah. Going up the Rathaus Tower, you see an amazing bird's eye view of the whole town. It costs only two euros and it was a very special experience for us because these barriers were closed and we had to literally jump over them. Up from this tower, you can see the big wall that is surrounding the whole city from here. And this is the medieval town inside the wall. And beyond the wall is the new houses built after in recent times. So this town hall tower is the highest point in the whole town at 68 meters. You can see the marketplace behind me over there and the church where we were standing, where the 3D map was there yesterday. It almost looks like there's no way to get out from here. <laughs> The little streets here are very, very cute. You can see there's cute windows with flowers and all the shops are only allowed to market themselves by using these metal signs. Normal marketing is not allowed actually because it would destroy the whole 
look of the overall town. Yeah. If you Google Rotenburg, this photo will come up again and again. On social media, this photo kind of defines Rotenburg. And there are some very interesting reasons for that. Nothing about this house is completely straight. Here, you can see it starts off, it looks a little bit wonky, then it goes up kind of straight. But even the roof is a bit tilted to the side. And have a closer look at the windows. They're not really parallel. Like some of them are going more like this, and these are going more like this. Some of the windows are bigger, some of them are smaller. Sometimes the distance between the windows is different. Let's go to the criminal museum, which is on that side. This museum is full of torture and killing devices that the people used in olden times, medieval ages. Oh my God. Wow. This is torture instruments that was torturing water. The hell? Have you never heard of this one? No. This one actually looks like a massaging chair. Because <laughs> many massaging devices have these spikes, you know, and it feels good if you lie on them. There's even books on law of torture, and protocol of torture to follow. In those ages, if the husband and wife had some argument, they would use this device to resolve the argument. <laughs> it's called a double neck violin. So basically, they put the head of husband and wife in these circles, facing eye to eye with each other, and they would stay there until they could resolve their argument, find a solution. These are the shame masks. Oh, wow. This is for talkative women so with a long time. <laughs> so this is how the diplomas looked like back in those times, 1787. That is a birth certificate. Look at these attention getting criminal cases. And Galileo was one of them. And his crime was to claim that sun is the center of the universe. Oh, look at that guy's crime. It was alleged to be God's son. This museum actually gives a very detailed description of criminal law, crime, and the constitution and how it developed over time. So it's way more than just torture devices and death devices. This really looks like some old castle. It even has the a pond which is full of crocodiles in case <laughs> someone tries to come. The whole town has very medieval vibes. So these are the original city walls that are guarding the city. You can see how high they are. Impossible for anyone to climb there. Okay, then let's go up the walls. Our watch starts now. I think even the criminal museum is a must-do in the city. Yeah? Yeah. And overall, if someone comes here, they should spend two days here at least. Because there's so much to see. And the best way to see the whole town is by walking around randomly in the whole town, wherever you feel like. And guys, if you want to experience an old traditional German town, then this is the place to be. 